spinning there. You know, last night even at the home, we started getting out the Christmas decorations, started getting out some of the ornaments, unpacking everything. You know, it's so fun when you start unpacking because, like, individual ornaments are sort of like these memory little things that you're hanging on the tree. It takes longer than you anticipate, right? Because you're going yeah. ornament through ornament, and with every ornament comes a story. They hold those personal memories. And this year, we really want to help you get personal with your Christmas tree. Christine McKay from Christine McKay Designs is helping us unleash our creativity with handmade ornaments. And these ornaments, these are the type of ornaments that everyone will look forward to unwrapping year after year. Not only can you personalize them and make them your own, but if you're like me, the thing that I love the most about Christmas ornaments is I have a little bit of crafter's ADD. If I, can, <laughs> I do. If I can't get it done in one sitting, then I, I, I'm over it. Like, I can't do it. My brain just goes on to the next thing. So all of these ornaments are so great because you can just sit down in an afternoon um, and just put them all together. And it's a lot of fun, and it's really fun to do with your kids as well. And it's simple. And it's so simple. Christine's going to so walk us through. In fact, she's going to show you a really quirky way to repurpose something that some of you already have at your home you would never thought of for Christmas ornaments, scouting supplies. But first of all, walk us through the other stuff. What do we start? Okay, with? well, first of all, I just wanted to mention right off the top that there is a new um, magazine out. It's called Simply Handmade. And so I kind of turned to this to get some ideas for some ornaments. Gonna, can I hold and, this up? Yeah, so you can hold can that up. The and they have a whole section of ornaments in here. And when I called the magazine to ask if I could use some of their ideas, they actually said, Studio 5, we love Studio 5. <laughs> so they are offering this box set of ideas. It's a normally $240 value for $39.95 for wow. Studio 5 viewers because they love we Studio love 5. We love Handmade. That's all we can yeah. say. So you'll get a card um, box set as well as the ornament um, book. And you can just go to my website, kmckdesigns.com, and it'll give you the promo code, which is Studio 5. So you just but, type in the promo uh -huh. code, and you get that discount. Yeah. Give, again, it's almost like $150 savings. It's, it's, if you were to buy this individual, it's $240, yeah. Wow. So it's really great because they love Studio 5, and so do I. So they <laughs> <laughs> really excited to do that. Um, but one of the things that they had in there that I just caught my eye right off the bat was they have these little, um, they had an idea that you just take these little um, Christmas balls that you can get just anywhere. I mean, go to the dollar store. Just get some really plain, inexpensive ones. And then what you can do is you can take some of this um, crafting flock that they have out on the market. This is by We Are Memory Keepers. But basically what it is is it's flock that is adhesive, and it just kind of comes on a roll like this. Oh, and so I've what I've seen that before. Yeah. Is this like sort of new? You know, this is it's sort of new. It's out there. There's several companies that make it. I really like this one because it's adhesive. And what you do is you just kind of, you take off the adhesive backing and you wrap around it. Um, and then this is what it looks like when you're done. And Look I just went this. ahead and added a little couple of rhinestones to it. But it was so simple, so easy. Took, you know, a dollar ornament and turned it into something a little more elegant. Does it peel like a sticker? It peels just like a sticker. And it goes on. You kind of have to work with it a little bit. It's not hard. You just have to work with it a little bit to get all the pieces. It's very intricate, right? Yeah, and it looks like you have hand painted that. I mean, that's how Isn't it looks in the right And it has a little touch. velvety look of like kind of the yeah. old, um, the old fashioned like ornaments. Like you know, my, I remember my mom had a bunch of little velvet ornaments. So I love that That's idea. Great. That's and great. I got that one from that magazine. Um, okay, Darren, you mentioned scouting supplies. Yeah. Let me just say. I love scouts. I really do. I love scouts. Not a fan of the sewing on the badges and all of that. And so the other day I, I had gone over to the scout office and I came home and I told my husband, I said, I love scouts. And he's like, what in the world? Who are you? Where's my wife? And I said, I found the coolest little merit badge pockets and they're going to make the greatest Christmas ornaments. And he was like, you've lost your mind. He's like, that's my Christine Yeah, right that's there. my Christine. So while my son was looking at all of the scouting badges, I was finding um, uses for um, the merit badge pockets other than scouting. That was um, great, though. But basically, the scouting um, merit badges come in all different shapes and sizes. They have circles and squares and rectangles. And what I did is I just got a variety, and you can kind of see it down on the tree down below. Mm -hmm. um, but I just got a variety of different shapes and sizes, and I just took um, some paper, and I um, just, you know, patterned some cute little, uh, 12 little ornaments. And all of these instructions will be on my website that you can download. Okay. Um, and, and it also includes all the numbers. So if you just have some Christmas pattern paper, and you can decorate the squares and just kind of measure it to match which pocket you want, you can cut out the numbers and number each one, 1 through 12. And what's really cool about it is you can either sit hanging on, you know, just have one little tree that's your advent tree, you can put them on your main Christmas tree and in the back pocket you can have a little activity or your favorite Christmas story so each night you know the 12 days before Christmas 
you can pull one out and you know it might say sing your favorite um, Christmas carol or share your favorite Christmas memory but it's something that you can do with your family each night for the 12 days of Christmas. So they're advent ornaments. They're advent ornaments yes. That's darling. And I just want to clarify for scouters who are out there. Now, merit badges don't come in all shapes and sizes. Other badges might come in shapes and sizes. All sorts of patches. Oh, yes. So oh. the merit badges just so you know we He's understand merit mind. badges are only small circles but these would be for all sorts of other patches other that patches. you might have. Other patches. Just want to make Thank sure you. people Old home didn't think. Scoutmaster well, Adams. Yeah. Okay. I did, I, did, I did pass my um, scouting mom merit badge. That's okay. Course. No. <laughs> that is a darling idea though. And has the button you just saw. Oh on. yeah, and that's the coolest part. I forgot to mention that part. Is okay. these are made. These little pockets are made to button over the scout uniform pockets. And so what I did is I just took a little piece of ribbon and I took some embroidery floss and I just uh, s stitched a little button on it and it just buttons right over the top of the badge and then you just slip the little paper ornament inside. You know what? It was made for this, wasn't it? Was it was made for this. <laughs> it, it was made for her. I think, think these should badges. come in other sizes like hearts and stars and so I'm going to work on that for you. <laughs> the, next, the next thing that I did, because I love repurposing things, is I kind of went to my drawer and I just pulled out some old um, scrapbook supplies that maybe aren't in anymore for scrapbooking but still have other uses. And one of the things that I found is all the metal frames used to be really popular in scrapbooking um, and I have a ton of these and so what I did is I decided to make them into ornaments and I just put little pictures in the center and then I just punched a hole in the top. And we've we've had this tool on before. This is the crop and aisle. My favorite. I love this tool, the crop and aisle from We Are Memory Keepers, but this is an actual metal frame. And all you do is just take the crop and eye and you go punch through the top and you can punch a little hole, set an eyelet, and then you can just tie the it ribbon makes you through feel it. It's so strong too, but it's effortless. And it just cuts through like butter. So you can take some of your old scrapbooking supplies and make ornaments and do your kids' pictures from that year. And like you said, when you're unwrapping them the next year, it's so fun to see how much that they've grown. And the metal frames you can still purchase. They're not quite as popular as they used to be, right? Yeah, you can still purchase these all over. These are by pressed petals and they probably have the largest selection of, of different frames. Really you can cute. also get the um, clear acrylic ones, which the oh, crocodile will go through too. And oh. I Oh, I love Isn't that. that fun? That is I'm, I'm a big fan of the pictures because I think it does. It just really personalizes it. That's cool. And um, the the next one that I wanted to show to you guys today is I am just I love vintage ornaments. I love old time Christmas things. So what I did, and I'm just going to show you the instructions that I did as well. You can download and print these out for free as well on on the website. Um, these are little vintage um, images that you can punch out with a one and a half inch hole punch and you just decoupage it on these How little these little oh. wooden circles that you can get at any scrapbook store and I've made these so they're the exact right size that if you have a one and a half inch punch you can just go in oh and just punch uh, it you don't even have to. Perfect. You yeah. could perfect. cut it out perfect. by hand if you, you didn't have one. Oh. Hand, or you can do that and I notice that um, if there's a little bit of the hangs over, you can just kind of trim around it or sand it. But you'll just use some decoupage. And then my favorite part, and I don't know how well this is going to show up on air, is all, it, one thing I love about the vintage ornaments are, is just the ornateness. So you have the yeah. velvet and the glitter. And so when you're done, you can just roll the edges in a little bit of glue and then dip it in glitter all the way around. And you can just um, wire for the little hooks. It gives you a little bling bling there Isn't on the edges. Fun? And Christine, we're like out of time, but show us quickly this Coca-Cola bottle, oh, which is the, the coolest thing. Thanks talk about repurposing here. This is your little trick yes. here. This is so cool. You can get these anywhere this year, uh, holiday season. They're a dollar at the grocery store. Um, I think I found these at Walmart. And what I did is I peeled off the plastic um, Coca-Cola label, and I just put a little tag on it that says Letters to Santa. And so I'm going to have my children write their Letters to Santa and just pop it in the little bottle, and we're just going to hang it on the tree like a Christmas ornament. Cute. Yeah. And it's in that shape, so it matches And it's in that soup. shape, and it's so fun. And you could do pictures. You could add little mementos. You could do anything with this. Great we're talking, ideas. Make it a snow globe, too. It's make like it the perfect globe. size. Anyway, all the ideas, of course, we mentioned the downloadable things, the, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the vintage ornaments, all the images. You can check it out at Christine's website. It's K, the letter K, K McKay Designs, where she's going to have complete instructions posted for all of these things. Great ideas. Thank you.